Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to High Off Blue Hour, and we are going to take some more, uh, take another look at particle fusion templates. And this time, we're going to look at the fire embers effect. And, you know, so you can get that kind of nice, moody ember, floaty ember effect that's around campfires and fireplaces and all of that type of stuff. So we're going to drag a fusion composition into the timeline. I'm going to stretch it out to about 16 seconds and then we'll go into fusion. Move our media out to the side a little bit or to the right side a little bit. And we're going to keep it very simple. No special picture or video. We're just going to use a black background for this. And we're, so we're going to go to the far left here, click and drag background into our workspace. And you can rename it if you want. And we're going to connect it to media out. And then what we'll do, we're going to go up here to effects, click that, go over to templates with the drop down arrow, click that, go down to fusion with the drop down arrow, click that, and then go down to particles and click that. And over here, all of these particle templates will open up like a list of them. If you've watched any of the other particle videos on this channel, you've seen all of this before. So we're going to go down here where it says embers and we're just going to click it and it is going to come down and pop up into our workspace down here, but it didn't connect correctly. Sometimes when you click a template, it'll link in correctly. Other times it'll link in incorrectly and you'll have to kind of disconnect a few things and hook them up properly. So in this case, what we're going to do is we want to disconnect this vertical line here that's connecting media out into merge one. We're going to double click that line to get rid of it. We're going to pull this merge one back a little bit in this line that is linking background one in media out one. We're going to actually take that and connect background one into the yellow triangle on merge one like that. And then we're going to go to this gray nub here and connect merge one into the yellow triangle on media out like that. So now we got our black background visible and our tin. So yeah, so our template will be visible too as well. So you ultimately what you want is you want the particle embers going into the green triangle on merge one, your background going into the yellow triangle on merge one and merge one going into media out. So of course, if you click and highlight particle embers in the inspector area, uh, you'll have options for customizing what the particle embers looks like. So you have this. Uh, drop down menu here for particle emitter controls and then you have a drop down menu here for particle swarm controls and the only thing I'm really going to change in this case for this area is the color it's going to change it from this tan color to a more kind of bold uh, orange color just so it kind of feels more like fire and then is we're going to add some glow just so that there's more of a fiery type effect. So what we'll do is you just want to in an open area in your workspace, you want to click and then you want to hit shift space bar and a select tool menu will pop up and you want to select glow or you want to start typing in glow and it'll pop up, but you want glow with the GLO in parentheses and then you hit add and that will bring it into your workspace and you can drag and drop it. Uh, either between particles in the merge node or between the merge node in the media out depending on how you want to do it I often drag and drop the glow node between merge one and media out so you'll hover it over the line and then hold shift till that line turns blue and yellow and then you let go and glow will link in there and then if you click on glow in the inspector tab you'll have all these options for controlling glow so you can bump the glow up and then I'm going to actually take the glow size down pretty much close to all the way we'll go maybe around 2.1 there is fine and so now you have a little bit more of kind of a sparky glowy fiery feel to it when you add glow into the mix and so that's pretty much it now you can do all types of personalization and customization to make things look even better but this is the basics of just easily creating that fire ember type effect in motion just using a template in fusion so you don't really have to have much fusion knowledge at all to really 
get this effect going so there it is it's not perfect but it is functional and you can really adjust it to your liking all right you guys so that is how you access and use the particle fusion template for fire embers all right so that's the video thanks for watching